So anytime that you are going out and about, whether you're going to the pet store, going to someone's house, even just going for a walk in the neighborhood, or today we're gonna to go on some field trips to some different places, it always begins with starting with a calm mindset. So if you amp your dog up and then fly out the door and you let them drag you to the car, you're just setting yourself up for failure the minute you get wherever you're going. So you always want to start with calmness at the door and a big part of that is making sure that you are calm when you're going out. So don't say, Ew, you wanna go for a walk, let's go, let's get crazy, come on, let's go. And that was a stress yawn, I'm already stressing him out. So you want to start with your own calm energy and create nice manners from the second, good boy, from the second that you are about to leave the door. Nope. Good. Right there, I just communicated, slow down. We haven't gone yet. I haven't given you permission. Let's go. Now I gave him permission. We want to walk to the car just like this. Nice, calm mindset. The mindset is the most important part. And then also nice, calm, nice, obedient manners. When you go to get in the car, start with nice, calm manners. Create the mindset first to make sure that we start with calmness. And then, okay, let's go up, up, up. Good boy. Once they get in, I want to immediately set the tone, relax. So when you're driving, you want to promote nice, calm mindset in the car. So our dogs should just be chilling in the car before we take off to go drive. Good boy, Theo. Nice little stress yawn is letting him relax already. Good boy, another stress yawn there. So I wanna reward the fact that he's starting to relax his body. When you're taking your dog somewhere, you also don't want to allow or encourage them to have chaos in the car. So before I even got in the car, or before I started the car, I made sure that he was in the right calm mindset and a nice relaxed position. I don't allow dogs to adrenalize back and forth and I definitely do not allow dogs to bark or growl or give any kind of chaos out the window. Also just promoting that calm mindset, I don't allow dogs to come put their feet up on the middle console. So as soon as a dog starts to put their paws up there, I put my arm up and say no, and I do not, no being with the remote, I do not allow them to come jumping back and forth. So I know this is hard while you're driving, but if you use your rear view mirror, or if you have something like I have with my cell phone, I can prop up, I could just put the mirror on so that I can watch him or check in on him if I need to. And if he starts to come forward, I can say no, and then bring him back and then good boy without even having to take my eyes off the road. Again, if you allow adrenaline or ask for adrenaline as you're going to your destination, the chances are you're probably going to get a lot of adrenaline at the destination. If your dog is prone to high energy in the car or prone to adrenaline in the car, drive in the car and promote your own level of calmness. So don't crank all the windows up and have the sunroof open and turn the music loud and sing along. You never create less chaos by adding more chaos. So if you want calm energy, force calm energy. I know this sounds silly, but a lot of people will say things to their dogs like, hold on tight. Okay, we're making a turn. When we're making a turn, we don't need to set that. We don't need to tell the dogs, hey, we're making a turn, time to get ready. Cause all you're doing is just spinning that busy brain. So in a perfect world, a dog would be settled with their butt or their stomach on the back seat, but I'm okay with this. Good boy, nice stress yawn there. All right, so we are about to pull into Partridge Creek. 
The next thing that's so key when you are bringing your dog somewhere out in the world is that as you're approaching, don't get them all riled and pumped up to go. So don't say, okay, Theo, we're at the mall. We're ready to go shopping. I need you to be a good boy, Theo. Don't embarrass me. You gotta be a good boy. Cause all you're doing is just spinning that brain into a tizzy so that we can create lots of chaos in our dog's brains. And then we expect them to go to this bump in place and be chill. So remember, if you want chill, you've got to force chill, promote chill, encourage chill, and demand chill all the time. So I'm pulling in now, and we're just going to pull in with nice manners and relax. When I go to get Theo out of the car, I'm going to make him be patient. I'm going to make him wait for permission to come out of the car and I'm instantly going to force calmness. Nope. Good boy. He got a little button tap there because as soon as I opened the door, his head started moving forward as if he was going to jump out. Every time we open our car door, our dog should automatically patiently wait in the car until we give them permission free to come out. And as soon as they come out, the first thing I'm going to do is promote calmness. Good boy. I'm going to make him be calm. So as we are walking toward Partridge Creek, I'm going to make sure that I go with nice, loose leash, calm manners with a nice, calm mindset. So this is not a race to get in. You may need to work through some battles to get him calm and well-mannered, good boy, before we actually step into the mall. Let's go. Good boy. So we are in the glorious Three Dog Bakery inside Partridge Creek Mall. And we've got our little dude Theo here being so well-mannered. So again, anytime that you're out in the world, promote calmness. So I know this place is an exciting place for dogs, but we still want to make sure that we're promoting the most amount of calmness at every step throughout the process so that we don't have chaos. So you don't want to let him pull in the door, drag you through the store running after a dog because that would just create a lot of potential chaos. Utilize the windows to your advantage to see is your heel in a good position or is your dog way up front? Another little friendly tip you should be able to walk and look in the reflection and not see your dog's head in front of you. So if they are out in front of you, they are too far in a heel, which means they are leading the walk, not you. When you go up to a register to pay, promote calmness. Make sure your dogs are sitting calmly before you go to pay. Let's go. So you're going to have to micromanage their every move. Don't walk into a place and think that your dog is automatically just going to be this perfect little angel. You're going to have to constantly set the tone of what the expectations of behaviors are. So we are about to walk into L.L. Bean. Anytime that you're about to walk through any threshold, whether it's at your home or if it's at the vet office or if you're going into a store at the mall or into a pet store, the groomer, always promote calmness before you walk in the door. So if you go to open the door and your dog goes to plow through the door, just pushy or bratty or full of chaos, what do you think is going to happen when you get in the store? You're going to get pushy, bratty, chaotic behavior. So we're gonna start, let's go. I'm gonna open the door a little bit and I'm going to see what he decides to do. So he did good there, good job Theo. But if he didn't do good, if he tried to cross that threshold, I would say no, or I would apply pressure with my transitional leash to calm him down. Let's go, buddy. 
So we'll go into the next door, same thing. I'm gonna go open the door. If he decides to go push ahead, I'm gonna tell him no and make him patiently wait. And then I'm going to tell him, let's go. I'm communicating with him what I would like him to do. Good boy, let's go. So listen up, if you're gonna go shopping, every time you're like, oh, that's a cute shirt, I wanna check it out. Make sure you focus on your dog first, create the calmness, then go ahead and do the shopping. But if all of a sudden our dogs go to stand up or get crazy, you have to stop shopping and go back to creating calmness. So I'm gonna go do some more shopping. Let's go. I told him to move with me. That means he's gotta go with nice manners. And if he doesn't, I'm gonna tell him no for pulling or any kind of chaos. And if I wanna come check out these clothes, the first thing I have to do, nice job, buddy, is have him sitting or laying down or chilling out using my transitional leash pressure. Then I can go. So here he got excited. I'm probably gonna have to calm the brain if I start to go get any kind of chaos. So if I start to do this or check out this, shirts over here, this nice stuff, and he stands up, all I'm gonna do is pressure up, wait for him to relax, and then pressure off. Let's go, buddy. So let's go just means to move with me. I'm not walking him in a formal heel. So he's allowed to check things out and sniff if he wants. He just has to be well-mannered. So if he chooses not to be well-mannered, I have to be the one that sets the tone to tell him what the expectations are. I'm gonna check out this shirt, so pressure up. I'm telling him to relax. I'm gonna check out this nice soft sweatshirt. Ooh, I like this, this is nice. Good job, Theo, nice patience. Let's go. So we're going to leave the store now. Have a nice day. Thank you, thanks for coming in. Thanks. When you leave, same rules apply. Nice rule, nice relaxed manners. So one more piece of advice when you're out in the real world, it's really easy for us to get distracted, just like it's really easy for our dogs to get distracted. So you need to hold yourself to a higher standard to make sure that you're keeping an eye on the world around you so that you can know what your dog's triggers are for distraction or for reaction and communicate the expectations. So if you're the kind of person that goes to Partridge Creek and window shops and looks at all the cute dogs around, it's probably not the best idea to bring your dog. It's good to recognize what's going on around you, but you really need to be focused on your dog so that you can communicate exactly what you expect of them.